Hi, Salika here for Peak Survival. Now, it's really easy on a daily basis to take food for granted. But when you're in a survival situation in the wilderness, it's really easy to get very hungry and desperately start eating anything around you. Now, it's imperative before you put anything in your mouth, you are 100% sure of what you are eating. Now, there are guides like the Edible Wild Plants book, but this is a little heavy, and chances are you may not have it with you when you are in the situation. Now, if you get in the habit of maybe just photocopying a few sections that are related to the areas you're going to be uh, hiking in or skiing in, that's a good uh, option. Or you have these lightweight pamphlets, but you're going to have to bring a few of them. But chances are, when you're going to be in your survival situation, you may not have these. So. As a last resort, you can use the universal edibility test. Now this test lasts about eight hours, so you have to make sure whatever plant you've selected, A, it's in abundance, and B, um, that you test every single part of the plant because the flower part might be edible, but then the stem may not be. So how does the universal edibility test work? Basically, you take the plant, and you have to do this to each section, so it's a really long time, so make sure you know what you're doing. So basically, you take part of the plant, you test it on your wrist, then you're gonna test it on your elbow, eventually make your way to just the lips, then you're gonna keep it under your tongue, and leave it there for a few minutes. Now, if through all those steps you don't have a reaction, you can eat that part of the plant. Uh, so that's just a basic intro to the universal edibility test. Um, one thing, a well, few things actually to avoid is uh, any plants that have milky sap stems, bitter soapy tasting, spines, fine hairs, thorns, um, foliage similar to carrot or parsley, anything with an almond scent, uh, root beer scent, um, oh, in grass, if there's pink, purple, or black seeds, avoid those, and um, any leaves growing in patterns of threes, avoid those. There's a saying, leaves of three, leave it be. So um, if you are interested in the universal edibility test, just click on the link beside this video, and it has all the steps and information waiting for you there.